We are back with head coach Brad Pindell. Week two, back home, big game before Westwood Day. Let's just talk about that pageantry first. You got to sure. get excited about the home opener and it being a big weekend every year at this time of year here in Westwood. Yeah, Westwood Day is very exciting. The kids get all uh, excited about it. Uh, the fireworks after is always a great thing, especially when you win. Uh, not so great if you lose, but uh, hopefully we'll be on the right end of it. The kids are looking forward to it, and, you know, it should be a huge crowd. Okay, things got out of hand quickly against a very talented Weymouth team last Friday night. What do you take out of that game, and what have you been focusing on this week as you turn the page and start thinking about Bellingham? Sure. The big takeaway last week for me, I mean, that's like you said, that's one of the best teams in the state. We're not going to face a team that is that, is that kind of size. Um, my biggest takeaway was our compete level. We never gave up. Um, you know, opening drive to the end of the game, our kids were out there, they were competing as hard as they can. Our execution was as good as it could be. You know, sometimes you run against the buzzsaw and, you know, you got to take your lickings and that's sort of what happened. You know, they're, they're regenerated or rejuvenated and ready to go for this week. So you look at Bellingham and as I rattle off some of these names sure. one thing that jumps out to me is their experience you know the guys who are making the plays for bellingham zach berkeley the senior quarterback very consistent gabe egan senior running back he put up 160 in week one 46 last week against ashland you should know bellingham comes into this matchup one and one they've got an extra game under their belt john Doucette, a senior wide receiver max gamble a senior wide receiver so when you're facing an experienced team how does that change your preparation so we know that they're going to have a lot of offense, a lot of defense. There's a lot of different things. The, the more experience you have, the more you can put in. Um, so we're expecting a lot of different things, a lot of different formations. They have a, pro they have a lot of different concepts. Their coaches are outstanding. Um, I coached against both of them when they were in high school, and now I'm coaching against them as coaches. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, <laughs> they, but they're very talented coaches. They do a really good job. They're going to have their team ready. And w with veterans like that, it's, we're going to have our hands full. But. Hopefully we come out and we execute and we take care of business. That says nothing about your age, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it says just a lot for about the my age. <laughs> just for the record. All right, let's talk about Ty, right? Ty sure. under center, uh, interesting relationship. He obviously, do you like talk over dinner? Do you talk about game plans? Like, how does it work? Sometimes, yeah. sometimes. <laughs> um, it depends. Like if there's something, you know, pops in my head, you know, we'll talk about it. Uh, you know, we'll sit down at home and we'll watch some film together and go through you know, different coverages and things like that to make sure that he's mentally ready. So your take on him, always difficult to kind of assess your own guy, but maybe you feel more comfortable assessing your own son. I mean, to be thrown under center first time, I'm sure he got some reps in years past, but yep. for real, yep. with the lights shining brightly, I mean, how do you assess his performance? Again, you know, going against the top 20 team in the state, yeah. I, I thought he handled himself really well. I, you know, you could see the nerves in him early. Um, but, you know, he was able to get out of the pocket a couple of times, make things happen, um, you know, extend plays, uh, put the ball in spots where he needs to. Um, you know, again, I just think that it was hard. The Hardy Val is Weymouth's pass rush was so good. It yeah. was hard to get a true read on, you know, how he's going to do sitting in the pocket. Um, I, you know, again, I was as a dad, I was proud of him. As a coach, I was happy with his performance. Good stuff. Anybody we should be keeping our eye on this week on the Westwood side? I, I, same crew. I mean, yeah, um, Charlie Tool had a hell of a game last year, last week, uh, over 100 yards receiving. You know, I, my guess is Bellingham's going to try and uh, shut him down, but we have other weapons that are ready to go. I think hopefully our ground game can get going. Dante Martucci, who had a great year last year, mm -hmm. I think he should get going this this week and hopefully we can get the whole offense rolling. All right. Well, you're on live TV. You know that, right? Yes, We're can't live wait. TV. It's going to be a lot of fun. Gonna I'm going to awesome. be joining Morgan Donnie, who in the booth this Friday. It's uh, Westwood hosting Bellingham. The annual Westwood Day weekend kicks off with hopefully a W for the Wolverines. That's Brad Findell, week two. I'm Tom Lydon. Thanks as always for joining us.